Hello, my friends. Hello. <laughs> Today's video is about something I've talked about ever since Witch Queen came out. From the moment I first saw it, I've been trying to figure out what it is. And I'm at the point where I feel like there is no other explanation that I can give you. What I'm talking about is what I like to call the Pyramid's God Statue. But yeah, with all that being said, let's get into it. Witch Queen came out, we were introduced to the new pyramid ship statues. There are some that are pretty clear, like the ponies, the people, and there are others that I have just no idea what they are. But it is what it is. But the statue I have always been the most interested in is this one here. The God Statue. The body of a woman with the head of a cow. What does it mean? Back in Witch Queen, it wasn't common knowledge that the pyramid race existed, and there were many adamant that they never existed at all. Now, I knew that this wasn't the case, and I saw the statues for what they were, remnants of a history and a culture showing the rise and fall of a civilization. And for the record, I maintain to this day that many of these statues probably reflect some terrible event that happened, whether that was the creation of the witness or consequences of them messing with the light, I don't know. But what I do know is that all of these statues represent the history and culture of the pyramid race. So now we look back at this statue, and I'm going to break down my thought process for you. I knew that this wasn't what the race looked like. It was clear from the other statues that the people of the pyramid race were very human-like. So in that case, this statue had some other importance, in my opinion, for religious reasons. To emphasize how important these specific statues are, these will always spawn at the end of the pyramid public event in Savi's throne world. But anyway, going back to the religious stuff though, it is no secret that the pyramid race, they are heavily inspired by ancient human civilizations from ancient Mesopotamia to ancient Greece to Egypt. Egypt in particular is relevant for this video. Their gods are infamous for being depicted as animal-human hybrids. Pretty much everybody knows about Anubis, Osiris, and after, if you saw Moon Knight, you would know about Honshu and Amit. Let me show you this statue. The pyramid statue is literally a copy and paste of this one. The arms are in the same position, it's holding the staff, all of it. What is different, though, is the head. But there's a fun fact about that. So this real-life statue is of Sekhmet, and she is depicted as part human and part lion. This one in-game has a cow head, and if we're going to go off of the Egyptian mythology, that would be of Hathor. So the fun fact is that in certain stories, Sekhmet actually turned into Hathor, going from a bloodthirsty warrior to a god of life. So in a way, it being the same statue as the Sekhmet one, but just with the head of Hathor. They kind of cancel each other out, if you think about it. But anyway, instead of me explaining everything, giving you a lecture on ancient Egyptian mythology, how about I just play this for you? She was the personification of joy, goodness, celebration, and love. She was also associated with the sky, the movement of planets, Venus, birth, and rebirth after death, as well as the cyclical rejuvenation of the entire cosmos. Most of the time, she had the head of a cow. Overall, this isn't a goddess it would have been easy to forget. Hathor is one of the older deities in Egyptian culture, and as a result, the myths surrounding her are a little inconsistent. After all, Egyptian civilization thrived for 3,000 years. Stories change with time. Now that is very interesting, isn't it? A god connected to the sky? Life after death? And more? Also, according to that site, Hathor was also referred to as the Lady of the Stars. And that's very interesting, too. So, okay, my friends, I'm sure you have a simple question. Where is he going with this? I don't understand. I will tell you. I will tell you. The problem with the Pyramid Race 
is that until recently we had no idea if they had gods or not. So this statue seemingly being a god, it was kind of, well, we had no idea. What was their religion before their fall? We just didn't know. But we do now. The cutscene in Season of the Deep clearly states that the pyramid race worshipped the gardener as their deity of life. And so, I'm just gonna say it. This statue is of a mythological being that doesn't exist. Therefore, it must be relevant to their culture and not a character who actually looks like this. I've established the link between the statue and ancient Egypt and how in many ways Bungie has straight up ripped this statue from an existing one. If this statue represents a god of the pyramid race, then there's only one character that it can be. The gardener. Hathor has enough links with the gardener, and then this cutscene from Season of the Deep really seals the deal for me. So, my official statement is that this statue represents the gardener. But so does this statue. So what, what's the difference? Well, the difference is very simple in my opinion. I believe that this statue is how the gardener presents herself. It's how she presented herself to us on Mars in that original version of the first D1 cutscene. In my opinion, it's also how she presented herself to the pyramid race, most likely through dreams. But it's super vague, you literally can't even see her body. And at the same time, we know that this race, they didn't get much info about the gardener apart from that. It, the god didn't speak to them. So, in my opinion, this statue is how they incorporated the gardener into their culture with this goddess statue. And it represents the traits and the nature associated with the traveler and the gardener. Life, light, and happiness. But I have to ask, don't you think it's so weird how close Bungie puts the race to ancient humanity? I think so. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video, finding it either entertaining or informative. And if I hit the wombo combo, maybe both? <laughs> I believe that in the final shape, we will get our answers about the gardener. But I also hope we learn more about her relationship with the pyramids and why they turned on her. But what do you think? What is your opinion of this statue? And what do you think it means? Let me know. Also, I am pushing, I'm pushing for 2,000 subscribers. So if you've reached the end of this video and you think it's worth it, consider joining us. But yeah, with all of that being said, I'll talk to you real soon. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.